Hi Oak Ridge Owls. This video is designed to walk you through how to do Flipgrid. It is option number two um, in terms of our middle school summer reading assessment options. So the first thing that you'll want to do is download the free Flipgrid app or you want to access Flipgrid via the internet. You just go to www.flipgrid.com. Um, and so I'm going to actually take you through Flipgrid right now and walk you through it. Um, so we're going to go to Flipgrid. This is what Flipgrid looks like whenever you go to it online. Let's see here if I can get you to it. Okay. Um, let's see if I can make it bigger. There we go. Okay. So this is what Flipgrid looks like. And you're going to, on the main page, you're going to see a place where you're going to enter a flip code. The code for all of the fifth and sixth grade Flipgrids is this. So we're going to go, um, it's going to be lowercase e and then 87672. And we'll click this. And then voila, you're going to be in, boop, we're going to be in Flipgrid, okay? And so you'll see um, that essentially all of the different books, the 13 different books, are going to have a different um, topic, okay? So scroll, scroll, scroll. The one I'm going to show you an example of is Loser, okay? And you'll notice here it has the same set of instructions for all of the Flipgrids. After reading the book, please post at least two thoughtful questions about the book that are open-ended, have more than one correct answer, and require readers to have read carefully and think deeply about the book. Then post a reply to at least four other questions from your book. Make sure your responses are detailed, reflect your careful reading of the book, include specific details from the book, and do not simply repeat the responses that were posted by other students. So the first step in using Flipgrid is to make sure that you are with your, you're at your correct book. So let's say that I read Loser. I'm going to click right here, and this is going to take me to the Flipgrid, okay? Um, and you're going to see the same set of instructions right here, okay? So these two pieces are really important. This one right here with my picture indicates that someone else, me, um, that I have done a video. And so that means that I have posted a question, and so it is ready for other people to answer. So we're first going to click on that one. How is Zinkoff's definition of winning and losing different from the other people's definitions in the book? So that's a question. I've read the book, and at, at the end of the book, I've decided that that's going to be my open-ended question. This question is a thoughtful question because it uh, requires everyone to read the book carefully and to give specific details to answer the question. So if you re finish um, the book and you look at this question, you say, oh, wow, I have something to add to the conversation. You would click on this green button, okay? And it's going to open up. And you're essentially going to record your answer, okay? You'll click on it right here. Um, so, and you're going to go through it. Um, and whenever you finish, it'll allow you to, to post it. Let's say, though, that you um, want to post a question. You know you need to post at least two questions. You're going to put it right here, okay? And so you'll see a place to record. Let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger. Um, so, hold tight, my friends. Okay. Um, and so this right here is going to allow you to record. On the bottom here, you'll see this, this button right here, and that's essentially what we'll do to record. So let me record for you. I'm going to um, essentially record another question. Let me think for just a minute. Okay. Why was Jeannie so mean to zinc off throughout the book? All right. Why was Jeannie so mean to zinc off throughout the book? Okay, so you'll notice that step one was me um, recording, and then step two, whenever I press this button right here, allows me to look at my response. Um, and if I like the response, I'm going to press this green arrow. If I don't like the response, I can click on this button right here, and it will take me back to step one where I can record another answer. Okay? But let's say that I like it. Then I'm going to click this. Okay? The next step see is to record a selfie okay so i just want to look at the camera i want to smile and then i want to click this button right here okay all right and if i like the selfie i press the next button and then it's uploading okay the only information on this screen that you have to do is your first name and your last name and you're welcome to put your first name and your last initial if you would like and then i press submit my video i'm not going to do that um because i only want my one question to be there but that's essentially how you do it okay and i'm going to say confirm 
okay? And then I'm back up here. All right, so that is a quick way to use Flipgrid. Remember, you're going to post two thoughtful questions, um, so one like me, mine, and then another, and then you're going to wait until other people post thoughtful questions, and you're going to reply to at least four of them. You may have to wait until a little bit closer to school to beginning um, in order for people to have, have posted the questions. Um, happy flip grading.